Hi, I'm Philo Brathwaite, and this is what's in my bag. I'm going to start off with my putters. I carry three beadless classic AVR putters. And the reason I use these is because they have a tendency to glide a lot, and I like to play the glide out of my discs. And so if I have a really overstable putter, it seems like they hook up too fast, they turn left. They're a little too stable for me for the speed that I putt. I'm not a very fast putter, I'm more of a smooth putter. So I use the beadless classic AVRs. They're all maximum weight. I have them all beat in, different stabilities. I always keep a fresh one in my bag that's new that I can use for upshots, that I can you know, use for laying up and stuff like that, or if I have a long putt you know, or something like that, or maybe it's a little windy and I need something more stable to fight through the wind, I'll use the overstable white putter, classic AVR that's nice and fresh. And I just have a couple that are a little bit more worn in for you know, maybe less windy conditions, a little calmer, that I feel like I can just float right in there, nice and smooth, nothing fancy, nothing hard. You know, and then one that's really beat up that I might use as a turnover putter or something like that to go left to right, something like that, you know, that's going to glide out. So I like to play the glide with my putters and actually in most of my discs. And I can explain the same thing with my rocks. I have five or six rocks that I normally carry. I'll start off with a Champion. I think this is a 2006 USDGC. It's a great rock. It's, uh, you know, very consistent, glides a lot, has a good rate of stability to it. It's great for in the wind. If I'm feeling a little nervous about an upshot with a putter or something, I'll take out a nice stable rock. And this is usually the one I'll go to when I'm without about, about 150 feet or so. This is the disc that I'll choose for that. Then I have a lot of fairway rocks that I like to use depending on the stability or the rate of turn that I'm gonna be looking at on the hole. If it's a more straight, you know, pretty much dead on shot, I'll use this white stable rock that I can just put on full torque. I try to stay pretty close to maximum weight with all my rocks. When you go about 175, it starts to flip a little bit, so I try to keep them over that, and uh, they seem to work pretty well for me. It's been my favorite disc since I started playing disc golf is the rock. So I keep about four or five in there, you know, different stabilities again, just like the putter. Sometimes you need them to turn a little bit more, sometimes hold a little straighter. So, you know, I keep a variety of them in there. Always a brand new fresh one that's ready to go, that's going to be stable, that I know will turn left for a nice long drive or something like that, or, you know, a fairway shot that I need to keep it down the middle with no turn. So that I have a few of them to keep it going, you know, keep them straight, maybe a little bit of turn, maybe a little bit of fade, you know, just play the shot for what, you know, what the hole requires. Go down to my fairway drivers. I have a variety of T-Birds. I try to carry about four of them. I like to have a very overstable one, which is this Glow Champion. It's, again, all my discs are pretty close to max weight, if not max weight. So I like using this glow one if I'm out in the fairway and there's a little bit of wind. I don't want to use something that's going to skip too big like a destroyer or a firebird or something like that. Then I'll bust out this nice stable T-bird that's got some good stability to it. And I got a really cool fly die one. This one's great for, you know, obviously, you know, throwing them down the middle, keeping them flat and straight with a nice little finish at the end, knowing that it's going to turn left. But maybe not so much left as the overstable one. Then I got two that are pretty much either straight flyers like this uh, Champion T-Bird here, or maybe this other one that's a little bit less stable that I can throw out there on the hyzer line and get the disc to roll up and kind of cruise to the right without much effort. It's a good shot to have out there on the course when you throw something on the hyzer line and make the disc work for you from straight to right or left to right. It's one of the you know most common shots you're gonna see on a golf course, so it's always good to have that disc. And I have this fairway driver, actually, uh, I saw UC and uh, Avery at the factory over in Rancho Cucamonga, and they were just uh, super excited about this disc, the fairway driver, and it's been a great addition to my bag over the last six months or so, actually the last season. It's um, really consistent, it's great. When you put some power on it, it holds a great straight line. You know, you just bang it out there and the disc will just hold and just go straight. Finish is very smooth, doesn't have a lot of finish at the end, and it's great for those really tight fairways when you got, you know, maybe some OB left and right, and you want something that's not going to veer too much either way. The fairway driver has been great. Then I have one, one Champion Leopard. I'll use this for maybe an Anheuser shot, maybe something that's kind of just really flat and smooth without a lot of spin on it, and I can just cruise it out there with minimum effort and get, you know, a very straight and long shot out of it, maybe a little bit of straight to right. 
But uh, I don't really throw too many hyzers with this disc because the leopard will kind of pop up and maybe glide a little bit. So I kind of use it for a more specific shot, more straight down the, the fairway, not a lot of turn. Got some um, overstable drivers next in my bag. I got a bunch of destroyers. I've been a big fan of the destroyer since they came out. I have a couple that I've had over the years. A couple of pre-Jenkins, Avery Jenkins World Championships that are just, well actually one of them is and the other one isn't, but just amazing disc. They have that really cool marble kind of mold to them. They've been flying great for years. They're actually now on the understable side of fast, so they're one of those discs that you can put out there with hyzer and expect it to rise up and just go straight or maybe even a little bit of turn to the right but a very slow finish it's not very big on the skip unless if i crank it all on hyzer angle really sharp but i don't really use it for that i'll use a more overstable destroyer for that but these are great for throwing 400 feet very controlled smooth not a lot of effort just bang it out there on the hyzer and let the disc do the work for me so i got a couple that are gliders and then i've got Four that are different variations of stable. You know, I have this one here that's about a 171, but it turned out to be very overstable. I was really surprised about that. Another one of the marble SDS destroyers, and uh, actually an X out, but it, it flies great. It's great for uh, punching through the wind on a nice flat shot about 375 and keeping it, you know, safe or maybe a little bit of turn, but not too much. You know, nice long and straight with the, with the good stability and not much chance of it turning to the right. And I've got a couple other ones that are pretty much very stable that'll just hold the line no matter how much I turn over on the disc a little bit out the gate, the disc will still hold flat. It won't veer too much, it'll, it'll hook up. And that's really important out there to know that your discs are gonna play the lines and, the, and the, the angles that you're going to be very comfortable with overdoing it a little bit and being comfortable thinking, all right, the disc will come back if I yank it a little bit too much. So it's good to have those. So I got those and then I have one really overstable one that I've had for about a season and a half now that's been flying great. I use it, you know, for those shots where I'm really worried about an OB line or something like that, or I absolutely want no chance of the disc turning over and going right. So I had that and I got a Firebird and a PD2, both great for, you know, good strong hyzer shots, spike hyzers. PD2 has been great in headwind. It's, it's been another awesome addition to my bag this last season. I've been using it a lot. It's, it's getting nice and worn in. I got one more just like it that I'm saving, you know, just in case something bad happens out there on the, on the tour or something like that. But, you know, these two discs have been a favorite of mine also this, this past year, and the Firebird's obviously been a, a great disc for a long time. Gets me out of a lot of trouble. Good for the sidearms. Every now and again, I'll throw a sidearm. Not really a big part of my game, but I will use it. The destroyers are great for that if you get in a little bit of trouble and you need to get around something. You know, that's really what's been a... The bread and butter of my bag is really only four or five discs, you know, a destroyer, a rock, T-bird, a leopard, my putters, firebird, a couple extra with the disc mania disc, the FD and the <clears throat> PD2, the C line. They've been really good. They've been very consistent. They're all pretty predictable. I've been using them for a while now and um, it's been helping my game. It's been keeping me uh, in the lines. It's been keeping me in the basket. Can't really complain. And my last driver that I've just been kind of toying with the last couple of months has been this uh, blizzard destroyer. It's been a really cool shot, you know, really cool disc to use when you're uh, out there on these long holes and sometimes you just don't want to put as much energy onto a disc and you can just kind of really cruise it out there and expect a good stable disc with minimum effort and a very consistent flight. If you do want to get a little, you know, uppity, a little greedy, you want to go for a little bit more, it's not a bad disc to really come across the grain on and just rip it off to the right because it hasn't not come back for me yet. It's been a very overstable for a very light disc. It's really surprising me. I'm really impressed with this disc, how it flies, but not something that I use all the time. It's for maybe a wide, wide open shot where I got all kinds of space or if I, you know, rip it a little too hard, it veers, I got plenty of time for the disc to break back. You know, kind of an experimental disc for me right now, but maybe in the future I'll get more comfortable with it and use it more, but I'm Philo Brathwaite and this was my bag.